What's going on you guys? So today we're filming a video, a shoe haul. Uh, we're going to film a couple shoes that we like to go to, to go to the gym with, um, different views on it. I personally have a lot of shoes and so does Gabby. So we're going to get into a couple details of the shoe and what we like best and what we suggest you to get if you're trying to look for a shoe for, to go to the gym or anything like that. So let's get started. Alright you guys, so first we're going to start with our gym shoes, shoes that we'd wear to the gym. Um, so Christian's going to go first and then I'll go. We'll take turns. This is called the Vapor Max Mach 2. Um, I would suggest the Vapor Max for anything other than leg day, because it, just because it's, it's so cushioned and it's so high, like you can yeah, watch that one. Show them the bottom. So like the, the Vapor Max are filled with air on the bottom. So like this is squishy. That's why they're called Air Maxes. Or vapor max. So you can walk around with this all day long. It's just because it's high it doesn't give you the stability that you need. And the fly knit is a little like it helps you, it moves you around. These specific ones don't have laces, but usually they do. So if you have laces it's a lot better. Um, but I just like vapor maxes in general for like everyday use. And they look cool too. Yeah. So you, what would you recommend this for? Not leg like day, but like not just everyday walking around and also going to the gym. For like upper body. Yeah, these are easy on your knees. So like I play basketball, so I need something that's easy on my knees. And also because it's flying it, like you don't get a lot of like a, it Sweet doesn't stink. Yeah. yeah, so like it'll help vent your, your, uh, your yeah. socks out. I got stinky feet. <laughs> All right, so my first pair that I'd wear to the gym are very similar. These are the Vapor Max 1s, right? Yeah. Vapor Max 1s. Um, these are the hot pink and the camera is not even doing this color justice. It's actually a lot brighter in person. It's like a neon freaking pink. Um, I love these for the style and then of course they're just comfortable um, and super easy to just slip on and off. Again, they have, um, I'll show you guys the detailing right here. They have these holes on them so it vents out your foot and it keeps your foot nice and cool. Look at how bright this freaking shoe is. So yeah, I love this. Here's the squishy bottom again. Um, super comfortable shoes, like again, for walking around or for um, being uh, in the gym during an upper body session. So, oh, how much were your Vapor Maxes, those ones? Those retail are 190. These were, Christian They're, actually bought these for me. How much were these ones? Well, like 300. Like but mm -hmm. those are like the, the special edition color. Yeah, so these are like $300. And because of the VaporMax 1s, because the Nike isn't like back here, yeah. they're more expensive because they just continue. Well, like they don't make them anymore. Yeah. So, but the VaporMax 2 and the VaporMax 3 are like, you you can get them for like 180 Yeah, so. It depends on the car. Worth it though. Like I completely suggest to get Yeah, that. I love my VaporMaxes. One of my favorite shoots, hands down. Um, next is the classic Air Max 1s. Um, you can get these in all sorts of colors. You can also customize them Nike ID, and they're only like one hundred and thirty dollars or one hundred and twenty bucks. Uh, I got these actually for like forty dollars at the outlet. Yeah. Um, Which outlet was it? In Valencia. Valencia outlet. If you're in California. Yeah. Um, you can. I like these because they're. They have the Vapor Max sole, um, but the forefoot is is more uh, sturdy. So like, I wouldn't suggest walking around in these all day, but I actually do legs in these. So, so show them the vape. What do you mean by the vapor? So the vapor max sole is this thing, the little bubble. So it just gives you extra support. But see how it's sturdy, and if you see here, it doesn't move as much. Yeah. So that's what I look for in a shoe when I'm doing legs. Uh, legs. And they're a little high off the ground, so they give you more support on the knees. That's all I'm all about. I'm saying, if it if it's low to the ground, how low to the ground is it? And then if it doesn't support my knees, so the vapor max ones are good. One of my favorites too. I have a bunch of colorways because you can wear these outside like. For like casual wear too. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So my next shoe <laughs> are these uh, Air Max. These are ones too, right? Yeah. Air Max ones. I also got these at. These were from the um, Camarillo Nike outlet, and I got these for like forty bucks. Super awesome. They have again that um, Vapor Max um, sole, but they're super sturdy. Love this colorway. Super cool. I love to wear these actually. I don't personally wear these to the gym, but I do wear these like on a day to day basis if, basis if I'm trying to be like um, fitness casual, if that makes sense. So, <laughs> I love these. Well, this looks like the same shoe, but it's not. This is the Nike Air Force One uh, Flyknit. Sorry, uh, Air Force 
Air Max one fly nets. Um, it has a higher bubble. Um, the sole's a little higher and they're higher off the ground. But also this is fly knit material. So it helps um, uh, air out your feet a little more. These are a little bit more pricier, but they also come in some cool colorways that Air Max One doesn't because of the bottom. The, so I would suggest these as well. All right, so these next shoes are the Nike 270s. I have so like what like four or five colorways of this. Um, I love this shoe personally. I find it super comfortable um, for casual wear or for the gym. I wear these during leg day, during arm day, during cardio. You name it, I wear it during it. Um, I think they're a really versatile shoe. If you don't have a lot of money and you're just looking for one good pair of shoe, I would suggest these. That's my personal preference. I would definitely try it on and make sure that it works for you too. But this colorway is super awesome. I got these from Shoe Palace. Mm -hmm. And they were like $140, I want to say, around that price range. So they have this super thick sole back here. It's so bright that the camera's not even picking it up right, but it's like a neon yellow. Neon like yellow green. Um, but yeah, super sturdy shoe, comfortable. Can I suggest something for me? Yes. I don't really like these just because they make you go on your forefoot so much and I walk on like the outside of my forefoot. So they kind of make me go to the side and like walk like this. So just know, like, if you have narrow feet that you have the solid uh, walking, like you walk well, then these are these are good. But I personally don't like them just because they kind of come out on the outside of my feet. Because the heel comes up a little bit. You can yeah, so see, you're kind of walking like high heel. Yeah, let me see if I can... You can kind of see the detailing in here that it um has that, like, I don't even know how to call it. Just like a heel, almost like a heel, like a high a heel. Bubble. Yeah. Like a bubble. Yeah, inside of there. So, yeah, yeah I personally really like them. So if you guys haven't picked up a trend, I like shoes that are very like solid in their base. Um, these are Tenariums, they're Nike Tenarium Airs. And so this has a really good solid uh, arch to it. So does a lot of other shoes that I wear, um, other than the Air Maxes, but they have a natural arch because of the, the pumps in the bottom of the sole. But this one's good because, it, especially for uh, leg day, because they have the sole in there. So there's like a... And that's what I'm looking for in shoes. It's a really good sole and really good support for the knees. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're heavier set. Like I don't, like skinnier girls and guys don't get it. But for those people who have like are heavy, you feel it on your knees and your ankles and your, your hips a lot. So that's why an important shoe with a good arch is, is really important. I have two pairs of those too and they are hands down the most comfortable pair of shoes. Um... I don't know why I didn't put them in my pair, but yeah, those are not one of my favorites. All right, you guys, so the next shoe that that I'm supposed to share, we actually both chose. So ready, one, two, three. Ow, the <laughs> lace hit me in the face. Um, these are the Nike uh, Fly Knits, and they're, these are such rare shoes. I don't think you can find them anywhere. Hyper Punch? Yeah, Hyper Punch. Such a cool colorway. Love it. Um, so there's, these are really comfortable shoes. Again, they have that fly knit material. So it has all those like holes inside of the shoe. So it airs out your um, feet. And they're pretty sturdy. Like the bottom of them are sturdy. So I highly recommend. Uh, the only thing is, is um, people who have wide feet, they because it's fly knit. Like the thing with fly knit. It'll rip through it. Well, yeah, that, yeah. So... You see this, it can kind of go over because it's just cloth. Like, I don't know if you can, it's pretty much just like cloth, like knitted material. So yeah. if you guys have wide feet, maybe it's not the best shoe for you, but definitely it's, uh, this is my favorite. I wear them in the summer because my feet get hot. <laughs> like you can't, but in the, in the winter they get really cold. So it's kind of like a seasonal shoe. Yeah. But, um, I don't think they make these anymore. Actually, mm -hmm. I think, um, it's, what did they replace them with? They look like planets, the Mariah's. Yeah. And the, the fly knit the isn't even really like the fly knit fly knit. Yeah. So, so they're, they're probably going to come out with this again because a lot of people have been complaining about they don't have the fly knit. Yeah. Um, so they might put it on another bottom, but. You can find some fly knit pairs on Poshmark. That's actually where I got all of my fly knits from. You got like 10 pairs of them. Yeah, like I have like 
my shoe cubby. It doesn't wear them. My shoe cubby is full of fly knits that I just haven't worn yet. Um, but yeah, I know Poshmark for sure has fly knits on there. Um, so and yeah. are called the uh, Nike fly knit bracers, if you guys are wondering. Yeah. All right, guys, next shoe is the um, Nike Air Max 97s. Um, I honestly don't like these shoes, but I they like they look really cool. That's why I picked them. So this is more for like a casual wear. Yeah, this is definitely if you're gonna go out uh, casual. Um, it's cool though because it's a full, it's a full like Air Max thing all the way down, which is kind of cool. That is cool. And uh, but the thing is, is when you walk, like I have wide feet, so like these are really flimsy, um, and there's not a good support. So I wouldn't suggest buying these to go to the gym in, but they look they look really cool. I, I have. One yeah. other pair of colorways, yeah. but um, I just like them because of how they look. Okay. All right, so my next pair of shoe, my, the next shoe that I'm going to show you, well, the next few shoes that I'm going to show you are shoes that I wouldn't wear to the gym, but I'd wear on like a day-to-day -day basis, like casual wear. Um, so these are, <laughs> these are such cool shoes. Um, what is this leopard? Yeah, Cheetah. <laughs> I don't know, a cheetah? <laughs> I think it's cheetah. Animal print. <laughs> These are the animal print. Um, They look like Balenciagas, but they're not. Obviously. <laughs> and I got these. These were like 30 bucks, you guys. And I got them off of a website, which I'll link down below. It's called Ego Official. They have such cute shoes. Um, But yeah, these are actually pretty freaking sturdy. Like, the sole is solid. Feel it. It's like, it's like an Air Jordan, like a Jordan shoe. Yeah, the sole is freaking solid. This part right here is knitted, just like, you know, Balenciaga's are. Um, but yeah, super cool shoe, I think. That uh, is cool. Yeah. I, I would buy one of these. So, that's that one. Alright guys, so, if you guys, I like Flyknits and I like Air Maxes. Um, this is, this is, uh... Those are the Mariahs, no? No. These are called the Flyknit Trainers. Mm. Um, they stopped making, well, now they started making these again. But it's kind of, it's like a sturdier sole than the Flyknit Racers. But they're still Flyknit. So, like, if you see the material, it's still Flyknit. But these are cool because they have the flap trap technology. Uh, the Flywire technology. that kind of, like, when you tighten them, they, like, wrap around your foot. Oh, this part. Right? Yeah. So I would show them that. Yeah, so, like, this... Those... Whenever you see this lace, you can't really pick it up. But like the they're they're like, like little strings yeah, that go up the side of the shoe. So when you tighten the shoe, it like wraps around your foot. And um, they're actually introducing a lot of basketball Nike wear. But this is really good for training. So like if you're doing like multi, like different cuts, side like to side, functional movements or something, it's good. Also, this is a little flimsy for um. Legs. For legs, but I still like these for legs to feel the ground a little more. Because mm -hmm, they're more of a flatter shoe. Yeah, so it's cool. And the the so the pump in the um, forefoot is actually pretty solid too. So it's not like flight uh, racers are a little less solid. These are a lot solid. So I actually like these better than the uh, flight net racers. I like these too for him because he can wear these out. Like they're they look like a casual shoe. The bottom is like this tan color. You yeah. can show them that. Oh. Is the tan color? Don't cool. mind the sh whatever he has on the bottom of his shoe. Yeah, this is the waffle grip, so it's actually like, um, I like the waffle grip just because like I can feel the ground more. I am worried about shoes, so like yeah, I like to feel the ground. He's myself. super picky with shoes. Yeah, I just throw whatever on that looks good and feels good. Um, these are my next pair of shoes. These are another animal print ones. I'm pretty sure that these are like mock-ups of the Yeezy. Yeah. What are they? They should make Yeezys like that. Yeah, they should. Um, V2. No, V2. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a Yeezy Adidas person, but you know what Yeezys I'm talking about. The newest ones, I think, that came out. Um, so yeah, that's what these shoes look like. And then they have the, the detailing of that animal print on there. Super cute shoe. Super comfortable. And again, I got these off of Ego, and these were like another 30 bucks so super cool finds on egoofficial.com sponsor me <laughs> you have any no, more no okay so christian is done with his favorites i still have a few more that i'm going to go through with you guys so 
these aren't sneakers, but these are shoes that I'd wear just kind of if I'm going to get my nails done or if I need to go run to the grocery store or something like that. And these are actually sparkly chocolates. Or if you need to like slap someone around a little bit, you could do it with some style. <laughs> so um, wow. I think these are so extra and cute. These are shoes Jesus wore. I don't even know if it'll pick up like how insanely sparkly this these are. I don't think it is. But um yeah, super cute, just casual wear sandal just to throw on. Uh if you're wearing a basic outfit, I love these cuz it gives a little like to the outfit. <laughs> and um yeah. All right, you guys. So, I posted these next three shoes on my story a few nights ago and you guys blew up my DMs about where I got them from. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now. I actually wore these ones today and they were in this post right here. If you don't follow us on Instagram, our usernames are right there and right here. Make sure you follow us to stay updated. But um, these are the custom Louis Vuitton white vans with the colored Louis Vuitton pattern. How freaking cute. Like what? Um, so yeah, I love these shoes. I think that they're they're like not too in your face because they're like a normal white van, but they just have that pop of like Louis on there. I'm just like, yes. You feel me, girl? Yes. <laughs> so these are really great. Um how much were these? I think these were about 200 plus shipping. And I got them off of majorways.com. Um when I first went on this website, I thought it was so sketch, and I was like, oh, this is for sure like a fraud website, they're gonna just take my money. But obviously I got the shoes, so it's not a fraud website. Definitely recommend ordering from him. Um, he does some other awesome shoes that I'm about to show you right now. Alright, so here is another pair from um, Major Waves website. These are very similar to the last one, except the Louis Vuitton right here is actually all white. So. If you want to be like a little more subtle with it, um, that's a great option. They're I think. dope. They have like Louis, little like Louis Vuitton things like, in there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. So it's super subtle, but still like, you know, a little something. If you don't want to be like too out there with it, I think this is a great shoe. Um, these again were like $200. Not, not cheap for a pair of Vans at all, but I want it. I got it. I want it. I <laughs> got it. <laughs> um, and then the last pair that I got from Major Waves were these ones, which... These are cool. These are freaking dope. Cute Butterfly Effect by uh, Travis Scott. <laughs> hey Alexa, play Butterfly Effect by Travis Scott. Oh, she came on. <laughs> I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. <laughs> Take um, a look at the help section in your Alexa app. So yeah, these are super dope. They're the Air Force Ones with the blue butterflies on them. So I just think they were they were such unique shoes and uh, yeah, I love them. In, um, in itself, the Air Force Ones are good shoes too. Yeah, so super cool, fine. I think these were a little more than 200, if I remember correctly. Um, well, worth every penny in my opinion. Yeah, those are cool. So. Uh, that concludes our shoe haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found a shoe that'll work for you within the ones that we get we showed you guys. Um, if you have any questions about shoes, drop them down below and we will answer them. To our best of our ability. Yeah. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Boom! Wow.